going on everybody welcome back uh, another video We've got some upgrades to show you as you guys see in front of you 94 year old Jalen Phillips he is on the squad took me about an hour and a half two hours I got kicked from the server a couple times um, a couple solos were tiring at best it was just bleh. didn't want to mess with them um, but offense some changes we got ahead and get Robert Hunt the Dolphins don't have a backup right guard even though they they really do but not in mutt so we have Robert Hunt here who is actually very solid um, got puller lead on him it, they don't work but they don't work it it's horrible he's got 93 impact block and it's it's just horrible he's got 94 strength which I think he is the strongest O lineman I think in the game um, I think Richie's got 93 uh, but yeah this is a very solid card um, our weakest points are our tackles right now on the O line uh, Jesse Davis has like 88 strength or something like that um, Incognito's back at left guard. Eric Flowers just back up now. Um, which makes me think, because I think he can get right guard, and I'm pretty sure I have backup left guards. Yeah, I got Solomon Kinley. Um, I'll probably look into that later. But we're obviously well past our 50 of 50. Um, yeah, we're at 56. So we're well past it. We're fine. Uh, Laramie Tunsil. Upgrade. Um, yeah, he's... He's okay. 90 strength. Um, that's about it. Doesn't 91 awareness is nice, so I'll give it that. Um, but yeah, this is a much deserved and waited on upgrade for sure. Um, not bad, not bad. Uh, wish the power was definitely higher. He is a pass protector archetype, so is what it is. But I run power and zones, so I need. I need to run power to be up there a little bit better. Um, as far as that goes, um, those are the only upgrades. Brandon Marshall's card was going for 600. Fuller was another six, 700. Just, I'll get the reduxes when they come out, whenever that does. Um, Tannehill still gets the job done. No Tua. Don't know why. They'd rather give us a right guard instead of Tua. But yeah, it is what it is. Um, that's everything for the offense. I already showed Joe Beckup, Billy Turner, Jerome Baker, and Jalen Phillips. So, Baker, we'll start with him. He's my new user. 93 speed, if not mistaken. Yeah, 93 speed at 6'2". He's a solid user. Um, he's got the speed to keep up with, I think, almost all the tight ends. Except for like the few high end tie in tight ends, you should be able to keep up with everybody. Um, 88 jumping is what it is. Um, upgrades nothing like that's horrible, very horrible. Yeah, that, that's bad, horrible upgrades. But yeah, abilities are crap. Um, he doesn't get any good abilities. He's also a field general, so it is what it is. 93 speed, very solid card, very solid user. But linebackers don't really jump anymore, so use at your own risk. Uh, man of the hour, <laughs> Jalen Phillips. He gets like everything. Like he gets all the good abilities. Uh, except for these down here, he doesn't get edge third elite. I mean, nobody does until, yeah, 95 overall. Um, mm, that's all I use him for as a pass rusher. So, but yeah, he gets everything. Um, I was thinking about doing ed dual edge threats again, but I'm just going with unpredictable. Uh, it seems to work. I uh, didn't mean to back out, but yeah, it seems to work. Um, he's got a couple sacks since... I got him today. I played a couple games. Um, he's he's pretty solid. Very quick. Uh, 93 speed. 94 acceleration. That's really good. 90 strength, which helps. Uh, block sheds 90. Finesse move doesn't go up because we have like a kind of a heavy power move 
scheme cards or whatever they're called, strategy cards. Um, wish I would just get rid of those and go back to the old system. It's strategy cards are huge, huge ripoff. 95 impact block is great. That is amazing. Um, yeah, you're not gonna put him in coverage. <laughs> 88 hit power. Uh, yeah, you're not gonna put him in coverage. He's strictly a pass rusher or a user at 65. Very nice. Um, he went ahead and replaced Kyle Van Noy because obviously we just got him. He got his flashback. I think I want to say it was this past flashback they did, um, which means I'll use I'll do the solos on Wednesday unless they give us a Dolphins Rising Star. I'm gonna go ahead and use the flashback pack on Kyle Van Noy. Um, that way you can max him out right here. He should go up to I think an 87. Yeah, I want to say it's an 87, but obviously we downgraded him. We needed training, and it is what it is. He was sacrificed. Uh, if not mistaken, he's got better power move, better block shed, and better speed than Ogba. Um, if Ogba gets another upgrade, he'll probably slide back over to right end. But that's a lot of speed being up against a left guard. Sue. Sue is Sue, man. He... He shows up when he wants to. Um, Shaq Lawson is starting over Agba. Um, I think it's only like a one speed difference, but there's like, I want to say finesse move. Um, but he's going up against right guards in the 5-2. Um, so it's not bad. Um, Byron Jones is going for 800 something K or something like that. Um, once again, I'll wait for the reduxes to come. Um, other than that, that's all the upgrades. Coins are low. It took quite a bit of coinage to get the two guys we needed. I had I had players already, so I think I got Baker for free. Quotes. Um, I had to get Hunt and Tunsil, and then obviously I just did um, Jalen solos, and that was it. But dogs are gonna go crazy because neighbors came home. But other than that that's the team um very solid very competitive um but before the dogs go even more crazier i hope you guys enjoyed and might be some gameplays here shortly don't know see how i feel this game is in a really bad state right now too by the way so it is what it is update didn't really do much to anything um maybe current or next gen it did a lot but current gen no it didn't do much but with that being said hope you guys enjoy i'll see you next time